Hello, Carla from Scrap and Create. We are now on page eight of Little Things. So get out your base page. This should be your final base page. This is the orientation. Your spine's going to be here. So get that out and let me show you what we're going to make. So this is going to have a little closure, a button enclosure. And we're going to be making, these are from AT, ATC card tag templates. We're going to make these little closures. These are going to be holding down this flap, this large flap, which is covering this accordion pocket. So this accordion pocket is going to be able to expand and hold lots of stuff in here. So we are going to first make these ATC tag um, closures. Since my intent was to put a lot of stuff in here, I wanna make sure we can really tighten it down. So let me get this out of the way. Now, <clears throat> if you have bought bought graphic 45 before with their cover sheets they sometimes have these little cutouts that you can these little templates you can use so what i did is i cut out my atc card template and then i made a 96 percent template I just shrunk down, this is the 100%, just like the ATC cards here. And then I shrunk it down 96% so we can have a template to do our designer paper on top of it. So this, if you do not have these from Graphic 45, I have these at Scrap and Create. They're free downloads. I'll give you the link in the description for this video on how to download them. They are free. So you can download them so you get the 100% template and the 96% template. So you will need these templates. Technically, I guess you don't have to have them. You can make your own flaps without using these templates. They will just be different from mine. So get those, this out of the way. So here I cut out the templates. I just cut them out and I print them on heavy cardstock so I can reuse them. Here's my 100%, here's my 96%. So what you're going to do, you with your black construction, black, black cardstock, you are going to cut out two pieces that are two and five eighths inches wide, two and five eighths inches wide by four and a half plus one sixteenth of an inch. So if you've got it in your trimmer, just add like one sixteenth of an inch, not much tall. So you're gonna cut out two of these. Then what you're going to do, once you have these cut out, this is your black cardstock, you are going to put your 100% template on here. And the reason I want it a little bit wider because I've had problems with getting the round, my round little corners. If I go up all the way to the edge, my corners don't come out round. And then you want this almost at the top. Let's see if I can get in closer. You want this almost at the top, but not quite. And then you're just going to trace around it. So you're just going to trace around. And you are going to make it longer 
than the template is. So basically, you're just going to trace around and make sure you get these round corners here. And then you're just going to trim it off. You can put it in your paper trimmer to cut this straight and then hand cut this part here. Or you, however you want to do it. So I've cut mine not very well. <laughs> you can see I didn't do it real well, but it's, it's close enough. And then you're going to score the bottom. This, you're going to score it at a half an inch. So here's our half an inch. And then you're going to score it at five eighths of an inch. So half an inch, which is four eighths, and then add one more eighth of an inch. And we are going to form a little gusset like this. So you're going to fold it to half an inch and then fold at the five eighths of an inch, and then you're going to form this little gusset wherever my camera is. So you have that little eighth of an inch gusset here. So you're gonna do that on both of your 100% black cardstock tags. Then you're going to get out your designer paper. Now the designer paper for this is the green Let's see, it's the green, I believe, yeah, it's going to be the green, large, the 12 by 12 polka dot paper. So you're going to get, this is going to be your designer paper that you're going to be applying to these 100% um, black card stock ATC tags. This is the hardest part of the whole thing. <laughs> So, here's my 100%, here's my 96%. So, with these, the 96%, oh, what did I, these you're just going to cut out, I think I just cut out my green cardstock, like four and a half inches um, tall, put my 90%, 96%, template around it and then just drew around, drew around it. Just pretend this is the, the green dot. And then you're just going to cut out your designer paper. So I've cut out two of these using not the green dot cards, <laughs> um, designer paper, some other just scrap paper I have. So you're going to cut those two out from your 96% template. So they are long. They're longer than this template, remember? And then you're going to, once you have your half an inch and five eighths of an inch gussets folded, you're going to ink the edges real well because that will show, that will hide any um, cutting that you did not do real straight. It will hide it real well. You're going to put this down here and then you're going to trim it to where you have just a 1 16th inch reveal down here. And then you're going to apply it to your two tags. So I'm going to go ahead and Cut mine, trim it, and apply it to my two tags, and I'll be right back. So I have my two little pieces. They've been, I inked them too, just to hide my, my terrible fussy cutting. And so now we have them made. So we are going to apply these. I guess you could put your designer paper in back here. No, you can't. No, you can't. Never mind. So we are going to apply these to your base page. Now, these measurements were based on my album. So what I did, this 
you're going to make a tick mark that is two and one sixteenth of an inch up from the base of your of your page you're going to make a tick mark here and then you're going to make a tick mark that is four and a half plus one sixteenth a little tick mark right here and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side two plus one sixteenth tick mark four and a half plus one sixteenth tick mark me i draw a line because you're going to be covering this base page up with paper so it's just a reference mark it's just pencil You just want to make sure these are are um, even with each other, these two tags. And the edge of the flap, our top flap, is going to be hitting right down in here. So what you're going to do, you got your, it's folded um, at a half an inch, and then you have, here's your half an inch, and then your five eighths of an inch. And then you have your score tape, 3 8 of an inch score tape. You're going to apply this folded at the half an inch. Here's your gusset. Fold it at the half an inch, and you this should be aligned right between the 2 and 1 16th and the 4 and a half and 1 16th. That's where you're going to align it. This, where you folded it at a half an inch, is going to be flush with the edge of your, your base page. So then just put it down, make sure it's tracking that line right here and tracking the line above, that looks pretty good. And then just pull your tape. Oops, hopefully I didn't mess that up too much. But you get the idea. Oh my goodness, you know what we forgot? Oh my goodness. Don't put that down yet. Don't put that down yet. Hopefully it hasn't stuck. No, 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 no. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Don't put that down yet. Why? Why don't we put that down yet? We need to add our buttons. We need to add our buttons. This, we've done our buttons before, so on another page. So we're going to put our buttons down. Now in your template, on your 96% template, there is going to, you are, what I did is I measured down a half an inch from the midline, which is basically where this, this circle stops, this half little rounded edge and this rounded edge, and I drew a line. And then halfway down, this is about a half an inch, I made a dot. That's where we're going to um, pierce our hole through our, our paper through this whole tag element. So you're gonna make your buttons. You got your two um, circles that were whatever size they were. I don't remember. These were three quarters of an inch. So remember these these were three quarters of an inch. It's 110 pound cardstock, two of them cut, and they are glued together. So these are glued together, they're real strong. Then you're going to cut your designer paper. I used the flowers, the red flowers, I'll show you. I just 
cut out those from the eight by eight paper, just some of those flowers. That's what I did. So you're gonna ink whatever image you want. You're gonna ink it and you are just going to apply it like you did last time to those 210 pound cardstock pieces. This is 5 eighths of an inch. So I've got that button. And then I'll just use, do I have another small piece? So I'm just going to cut a flower from this paper and then you ink the edges on that and then apply it to your 110 pound two buttons. Put that together. And then you're going to let those dry. My goodness, I had ink stain all over my fingers from inking up these. Had to wash my hands. Oh my gosh, what a mess. What a mess I made. Anyway, so now you're going to get your template, your 96% template. You're going to put it on your card. And that's where we're going to make our hole. Put it there and we're going to make a little hole through this unit so it's right here so that was the hole there Put the 96 percent template here get that lined up make the hole on this tag there it is And that's where we're going to be putting our brad. So you, now you need to get your little buttons, line them up on your little pad. And I'm just kind of guessing that's kind of in the middle. So that right looks pretty good. Make a hole through this button. And then line this button up. And make a hole through this button. I may not be doing this perfect, but you get the idea. So now we have our holes in our buttons. We have our holes in our tags. You're going to get your mini brads. Two mini brads. You're going to put it through the button, put it through your tag, open the wings on the back side of your tag. Same thing here. Open the wings on the back side of your tag. Try to get them as flat as you can. And what I normally do, I either put score tape on them to keep them in place, or you can put um, black construction tape. I'll just put a little bit of score tape since I have it here. A little bit of score tape. Get that down. Now you can add your designer paper to the back of these tags. So what did I use? I used 
open this up and you don't have to use what I use, but what did I use? I used this flowered paper. This is from the eight by eight. These are the little flowers. So I just cut my 96% template again and made it a little bit longer and then fit it and glued it down. That way it covers up the back of our little button closure here. So go ahead and put your designer paper on back of these tags, cut it to where it's going to fit correctly. And then now we're ready to install our tags in the album. So now we can put them in. Okay, so once again, we've got now to have our little buttons in. And this one I already kind of did. You're going to fold it at that half inch mark, line it up with the edge, put it in line straight with this line down here, and go ahead and I'm not sure if I'm going to do mine straight, straight, but you get the idea. That one's down. Then get this one down on this side. Get it flush with this line with the side of your page. And then I'm just making sure that this is all lining up down here. And then pull the tag and there you have it. So now your flaps are in. And mine got torn there, so I'm going to have to reinforce it. But hopefully yours went down, no problem. And the other thing I did with mine, I did put black construction tape over these edges just to give it more strength because these are going to be a lot of pulling on these. So you can put some black construction tape over these if you have it. So those are in. So next, let's add our top flap. Okay, so you have your two little pieces here in. You've put your designer paper back here. Now we're going to make this top flap. So you go, are going to get a piece of black cardstock and you are going to cut it nine and a half inches wide because it's going to span the whole length of this page. Haven't figured how tall to make it yet. And then you're going to put it in your scoreboard and you're going to score it at a half an inch and then one more eighth of an inch, so five eighths of an inch and you're going to score it because we're going to have uh, we're going to have an eighth of an inch gusset on, on this flap. Then you're going to check it for two things. Number one, put it in there and make sure it clears your flaps, that these flaps aren't hitting it anyway. If, it, if they are, just kind of take a little sliver off the edge on one side. So that's the first thing. Don't want to, want to make sure these clear it. Then you're going to line this paper up. You have your half an inch score mark and your five eighths of an inch, inch score mark. You're going to line that five eighths of an inch score mark to the top of your base page up here. And then you're going to come down and make a little tick mark where the end of your, your little flap is down here. So I just made my little tick mark right here. Going a little bit 
closer. So once again, you're going to, here's your half an inch, here's your five eighths of an inch. So the five eighths of an inch score mark is going to be lining up with your base page. And then you're going to come down and see where this little flap that you just put in, you're going to make a tick mark where it is, right here. That's where you're going to cut. My measurement from the top of the page to where that tick mark is, is like one and an eighth, I mean, one and eighth, six, six and one sixteenth, six and one eighth, somewhere around there. You measure yours, because it all has to do with where these, these two flaps were put in. So I'm going to cut at my tick mark, and I'm going to go ahead and burnish these guys up here, fold and burnish, get my little gusset formed, and I'm going to put my score tape up here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut on my tick mark down here, and then I'll be right back. So I went ahead and cut it at that tick mark down here, which I think was like almost six and one eighth inches long. You measure yours. And I put in my score tape on the one inch flap. Make sure you give your, this little one eighth inch gusset a good burnish here and a good burnish on this score mark. So you got a nice little gusset here. Now you're going to flatten it down just to the half inch score mark and you're going to adhere it to flush with the top of your base page, which looks like right there. And let me go ahead and pull it. Normally I would put my head way down in there to make sure it's straight. Um, but you guys make sure yours is nice and straight. And of course, let me pull this. Reform the gusset up there. And so it should be in line down here with your flaps. So which which you're going to be hopefully seeing, it looks like I got mine a little bit crooked. Yeah, I got a little bit crooked. You get yours straight. <laughs> I got mine a little bit crooked here. Um, but you get the idea. So this black card stock should be in line down here. And for some reason, mine came out a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can, I'm not gonna pull that. You guys get the idea, right? I guess I can always trim it in my trimmer since I haven't done anything to make it even. But I'm not going to do that. You guys get the idea. Mine is not straight. You make yours straight. If it's not straight, you can just put it in your trimmer. This side's straight. This side I did not make straight. But you can put it in your trimmer. It's almost straight. Almost. But anyway, flap is in. Flap is in. You make yours straight. So those are in, flap is in. Now we need to add our accordion pocket. 
So now we're ready to make the bottom accordion pocket. So for the front of our pocket, we, you are going to cut a piece out of your black cardstock nine and a half inches wide by five inches tall. And you are going to score it at the bottom one inch. I want that extra half an inch just to give this more strength since this is going to be pulling, um, holding the accordion. So I want it just to have some more surface area down here to hold this. Make sure that when you do do this, you just kind of dry fit it. Make sure these flaps don't catch on it and that they're free of it. If you need to trim a little bit off of the side, you may just need to trim just a little bit or you may not need to trim anything. So that's going to be one piece. Then for your accordion hinges, you are going to make two hinges. They are going to be two inches wide, four inches tall. Two inches wide, four inches tall. Then you will put those in your scoreboard. One at a time. And you're going to have the two inch side up and you're going to score it half an inch, one inch, one and a half inch. So you'll do that with both pieces. Half an inch, oops, half an inch, one inch, one and a half inch. Then you are going to fold on those score marks. So fold, burnish, flip, fold, burnish, flip, fold, burnish. Same thing, you got your score marks here, fold, burnish, flip, fold, burnish, flip, fold, burnish. So now you have your two accordion hinges. So I always forget what side is facing outside and what side is facing inside. This middle piece, so if you have it like this and you have your accordion hinge, this is going to be facing inside. So the outside is going to be this part that goes in. So this, if this is facing inside, this is going to be my left side. So I'm going to mark it because I will forget. Left. Here's the other one. Here's that center part. That center part is facing on the inside. So this is going to be my right hinge. And I'm going to write it right like that. Now we are going to be mitering these corners because this is going to be make going into our pocket. So we want to miter it down. So I am going to just cut it, miter it down in this direction because that's where this pocket's going in. And this one is... Here's the center going in, so, and I'm going to miter this one going in this direction, like that. The bottom piece is going to be mitered too. It's going to be mitered going up in this direction, and this one is going to be mitered going up 
in this direction. So that's how they're going to be mitered. Going down and then from the edge up. Like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those. And we may need to trim the, the height of these. We'll probably need to trim the height of these also because it's a four inch pocket and these are four inch um, tall. So I might need to trim a little bit, but for now we're just going to do our little mitering here. So get from that corner to down and then to that corner. So we've got our left and right. Next, I am going to be attaching this bottom pocket. So I am going to put double the amount of score tape down here, and then I am going to adhere this down here. Or you could use glue if you like, but I like to use score tape. So let me apply my score tape and I will be right back. So I got my big piece of score tape on the back of here. You're gonna line it up to the edge of your pocket down here. And you want to make sure, once again, your hinge is clearing your hinge line there on both sides. Normally, I would have my head way down looking, but I think this is going to be okay. So, my computer just stopped. There. I don't know why my computer just stops all of a sudden. Hopefully, it's still recording. Yes. So I got it lined up with the edge. My hinges are clearing and I'm going to pull this huge score tape. So we've got our huge pocket down here. Now what I did with mine, and I am going to show you, I don't like wasting my black construction tape, but I'm going to show you what I did. I put black construction tape over this entire bottom piece. Pretend that is cut nice and straight. And I put black construction tape over these flaps of my my little tag flaps, these AT, ATC tags, just to give them some more strength. And that is straight. <laughs> we are going to have some um, designer paper going in this pocket, but not all the way down. So this is going to make everything smooth. So next, we are going to be attaching our hinges on the back of this this pocket piece we just put in. So this is right, where's my left? Here's my left. So it's going to be attached like this, up at the top. You can see at the top right there. And then down here, I need to trim it just a little bit because it's hitting that 
fold line. So I'm just going to cut it just a little bit down here. So if you can see, let me try to zoom in. So here's our, our left pocket, our left hinge. I'm going to move down this pocket piece. This is going to be adhered like this, like that. So the angle is going down up here, like that. You can adhere um, this with glue or tape. I'm going to put some tape on this one and here it, adhere it down. So let me get my tape. I should use my, make sure I put the tape on the right side. Make sure I put the tape on the right side. So, well, it's going to go on this side and the back side. So let me put my tape down. See a thing I'm doing. Can't see a thing I'm doing. Putting the tape on these two flat parts of the hinge here and here. Probably going to have some glue at the tips because my score tape's not reaching the ends. Fold and burnish. So this is our left. This is going to be going, I can't see. This is my left one. This is going to be angled down like this. So it's going to be adhered like this. So I am going to there's the, the tip of my hinge right here with in line with this paper, and I am just going to have it go flush with the side of the pocket page and pull that tape. Let me get it started. I can't pull that tape. So get it lined up here. Lined up with the side of the pocket, right there. And pull that tape. Oops, I can feel it, feel it moving. So that one's in. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the right side. Going to line it up with this edge here. And I need to trim just a little bit off down here because it's hitting my hinge. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off down there. And I'm going to add score tape to this side and this side. Where's my score tape? Here it is. Wish I had a good monitor so I can see what I'm see when I'm out of frame. I need to get one, but So I'm just adding the score tape. Oh, it's slippery. Burnish it. Burnish it. Now this one, we have to have it. So remember the angle is going down in this direction. So we want it this way. This is going inside. Remember, 
this piece is going inside. So we're going to line it up like this. Get this, this edge of the accordion piece lined up with the pocket down here. Make sure you've cleared the hinge down here. Go ahead and get your score tape started and you can apply it. I can't get my score tape started. So get the score tape started. It's going to be going to this end right here like that, flush with the edge, and start pulling that score tape. There, and then burnish it down on both sides. Okay. So next, what you need to do. So you have your two hinges in. They are both facing inside, right? Next, you need to keep this bottom part. This is the bottom of your pocket. You want these pieces to be secured together like this. So just get a little bit of the glue and just put a little bit in here. And you're going to push. Put too much tape, too much glue. Get, look at all that extra glue I put. And I just put a little clip to hold it because I want it to dry. Same thing on this side. Don't put so much glue, Carla. Don't need to do it on both sides. And push. Add my little clip. I'm just going to let that set and dry. Because I want those to be secure down there. Okay, so those have been set for a few minutes, so those should be dry. So that's adhered. Next, you're just going to see where it's going to land here. And you are just going to pull these score tapes. Where's my pick tool? I do not want that overhang there. If you ever have overhang, you want to get rid of it because it will, it's sticky. So I'm just going to push that in. I may add a little bit of glue at the top here because remember I, my score tape didn't reach there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue at the top here. Then you're just going to do one side and then the other. And now your accordion pocket is So this is going to be coming down. These flaps are going to be coming over like that. So all we have left to do is add our designer paper. So let's start with the top flap. So the top flap, let me bring in the album. So this top flap is going to have a 5 8 of an inch wide strip up here of this paper from the patterns and solids. So you're going to cut a five 
eighths of an inch wide, five eighths of an inch wide by nine and three eighths inches long, almost nine and a half inches. And you're going to put that at the top of your flap. You are going to round the corners of your flap too. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to I'm going to ink this paper. Pretend this is that red paper from the patterns and solids. I'm going to ink it and adhere it. And I'm just applying just a little bit of glue, not much, because I don't want to waste my glue. Obviously, you do not, you put way more than that. I'm just going to be attaching it up here. Something like that, just so you get the idea. So that's the red strip. Pretend that's the red strip up there. You're going to round the corners of your flap. So use your corner rounder. So I can get that in there. Oops. For some reason it's stuck there. Those, those are rounded. Then for this flap, for the rest of the flap, you are going to be adding this paper from the 12 by 12. You are going to be measuring nine and three eighths inches long and however long you need to make it to cover to the bottom. And you're going to be rounding the edges down here also. So you're going to be adding that yellow paper in. So here's the yellow paper added into the flap. A little bit of black reveal. And then you're going to find this journaling card. Sun, it says sunshine and happiness. I've used this like three different times, so I don't have another one. But basically, you're just going to center it. And let me show you with another card. You're going to center it. In the middle here and it's going to be I have it just um, see where the the flaps let me just close this so you can see I'm going to have it so the flaps are basically where that little little round edge is on the flap that's where I am putting the bottom edge of this journaling card, right there. But whatever looks good to you, I mean, and, but this is just kind of centered in the middle. This card is centered, so it's going to be centered in the middle. And then where this hits down here, and here at those flaps, if you're straight like that, it's going to be something like that. I inked my journaling card real well, so it does pop up against the background of the yellow. So that's it for the front flap. For the inner flap, it's going to be... It's all this. It is just cut to size. Nine and three eighths inches wide and then just measure and cut it to the size and ink it and apply this paper from the patterns and solids to the back of here. To the top of your pocket. 
to this top of your pocket piece. It's going to be this paper from the 12 by 12. It's going to be nine and three eighths inches wide, and it should be like almost four inches, three and seven eighths inches tall. I think that's what we had it. Yeah, three and seven eighths inches tall. So you're going to get that adhered down. You've already done your flaps. And then this is, this, what you're going to slide into here is going to be the, from the yellow, um, yellow paper with a large oval. So from the patterns and solids, get this yellow, make sure the ovals are going in this direction, nine and three eighths. And I just slipped it down. Um, I slipped it down past these hinges just because I just want to slip it down past those hinges. That's where I put it in. So get that and be mindful of your, mindful of the hinge here. So get this paper in, slip it into your pocket behind your hinges, right? Behind, just go down. And then you are basically done. You just need to add your twine. This is the piece you're going to tie it to. I cut this way too long. Usually you do, you have enough to tie it and then you measure one, two, three with a little tail. And then I added a charm. I added um, this charm that I had. So that is it with this last page. The hardest part is actually getting these tags cut, which isn't even that hard. But that's that page. And now we're going to be doing the front inside and back inside covers next.